Hey guys, what's up? Demon Dog here uh, today with a rant, and oh my god, this one is an interesting one. And well, it's about the man uh, that is loved by many, hated by many. We all know and love them, or uh, we all know and hate them. That's the case for people that do hate them. I'm talking, of course, about Metallica. So, am I ranting on them? Uh, since they haven't been relevant since. Uh, they released uh, Hardwired. So, um, oh, and since uh, they perform with Lady Kaka. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, back to the topic at hand. <clears throat> Why am I ranting on this band? Well, it's because uh, they have a, like a compilation album thing or whatever. I don't fucking care. It's... Um, it's kind of like a reedition or something like that uh, for their uh, famous album, the Black Album, the self-titled one. It's called, uh, it's called the Blacklist. They're calling it the Blacklist. And uh, yeah, it's uh, like an anniversary edition or whatever. And their cover songs. There's cover songs, uh, you know, uh, you know your typical uh, "Nothing Else Matters," "Sad But True," "Enter Sandman," "Wherever I May Roam," "The Unforgiven," "Don't Tread on Me," "Holier Than Thou," and I don't even know the other ones. And I don't know if I mentioned "Nothing Else Matters." Anyway. So uh, it's normal if uh, there's metal bands covering those songs, you know, since it's a famous album to anyone who likes rock or metal. Well, wrong. No, um, there's a variety of artists. Most of them are pop. One of them is even uh, that god awful music from uh, Puerto Rico, uh, reggaeton. J Balvin, he's covering that song wherever I may roam. At first I thought it was a joke, but you know, then I looked it up and turns out it's uh, true. True as, um, I don't know, true as the air we breathe or whatever. So other than this J Balvin character, uh, who else are, um, who else are, who else is covering these songs? Miley Cyrus, Biffy Clyro, Volby, it's, uh, it's okay for Volby to, uh, cover, um, a song from Metallica, since, uh, they toured with them, and, you know, uh, Volby, it is also a band that has fans from both rock and metal. And also, uh, Corey Taylor. And this guy called Juanes or something. I don't fucking know and I don't fucking care to know which other artist, but... Yeah, let me tell you, um... God awful, man. And I thought to myself, um, why couldn't there be any, um... Metal artist? covering these songs. You know, like, you could have uh, both classic and modern metal bands. Uh, Artillery, Unleash the Archers. Um, Suicidal Angels, Destruction, Sodom, Mass Fix. Um, and also uh, your big names in metal, uh, like Cradle Filth or uh, Obituary, Deicide, you know, bands like those. And you know, modern ones like uh, the one I, the ones I mentioned, Unleash the Archers, Suicidal Angels, Nervosa, the guys from the poster behind me, Bloodhunter. Oh yeah, this album uh, was to uh, 
donate to uh, different types of charities and all that. But, you know, they could still do that with metal artists, uh, you know, um, making this cover album. This isn't gonna make uh, reggaeton fans uh, like metal. Maybe it will, fingers crossed. Maybe they'll start liking metal and stop uh, liking reggaeton, but who knows, man. But God knows it's not gonna work. It's not going to make uh, Miley Cyrus fans appreciate metal or anything. So, uh, you know, why do it? And I'm also asking about Metallica. Uh, are they staying away from metal or what? Because, like I said, many metal bands could have uh, been a part of this um, blacklist uh, project thing. And that's the same thing um, uh, I'm thinking that I was thinking when they perform with uh, Lady Kaka, the song Moth Into a Flame. So anyway, this performance, uh, performance, I'm really sorry, I don't know what's wrong with my mouth. This performance, Jesus Christ again, this performance was Lady Kaka. <laughs> anyway, uh, they could have had a singer from a metal band uh, performing the song with them. Because, you know, uh, you have your uh, normie um, or the person barely getting into metal. All he or she listens to is, you know, your typical rock and metal bands in the radio, uh, you know, your typical Metallica, Pantera, Avenged Sevenfold, Zeppelin, Scorpions, and whatnot. And, you know, they want to get more into metal because they think, oh yeah, Metallica and all those, uh, it's the only good music. There's no good music out there. And they see the performance with Lady Gaga, they're going to be like, Hey, what the fuck are you doing, Metallica? But if they see the performance with a singer from a metal band, from a metal band that they never even heard of, they might be like, uh, Hey, uh, this singer is pretty cool. Let's see what other music they have. Let's see what other uh, stuff they have sung. You know, you'll get them interested. And maybe also to the normie that doesn't even uh, like rock music. You, know, you could have uh, Tarja Tarun and uh, Flory Anson, Simone Simmons. Mm. Britney Slays from Anish the Archers, uh, Doro Petch, or any other uh, fine woman from metal. And by fine, I'm not talking about looks. I'm talking, of course, about the voice. So yeah, this blacklist thing and all that stuff, um, fucking, uh, you know, uh, appalled by it. I remember uh, that I kind of threw a tantrum, not a tantrum, but that I went in a bit of a tirade about baby metal when they were barely uh, coming out, barely becoming a thing. And I was also complaining how, uh, you know, uh, Kerry King, Gar uh, Gary Holt, you know, because the, uh, the name sounds similar. Anyway, how Kerry King, Gary Holt, Joey Belladonna, Kirk Hammond, and, you know, all, all those other guys took pictures with those girls. Yeah, I was complaining when that was uh, going on. But now I'm like, uh, you know, I'll come to think of it, that wasn't so bad. Because at least Baby Metal has, a, has an audience that 
are people that want to get into metal or people that already are metalheads but they just want something uh, funny uh, to listen to or something different something that's more happy and upbeat than you know something angry and with aggressive sound and whatnot yeah but this i don't think it's gonna make a non-metalhead uh want to listen to metallica and i don't think it's going to make uh, metalheads listen to uh any of those other bands especially j balvin Okay guys, so yeah, that's the end of my rant, um, take it easy, and as always, keep it metal. And also, let me tell you, I thought Blacklist was going to be like a new album or something like that. It was going to have like a black metal album sound, but, but you know, adding something new to it at the same time but no it turned out to be this okay guys so yeah see you later and meanwhile i'm going to listen to a much better band haggard and yes they're a completely different style but it's a way better band